Hi everybody, it's Amy Valentine, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally bringing you my April haul. This is a big one, so you might want to grab a cup of tea and sit down for a while because I have quite a few items. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. First up, I have a couple of items from Misguided and it's actually an outfit, so I'll just go through piece by piece. First up, I have this crazy big statement necklace. I'm really into my statement necklaces at the moment and this is so perfect. It's got a really good bohemian vibe, but it was also look great with a band t-shirt, that sort of thing, and that's 22 pounds. Then I got this crochet crop top. I absolutely love this, it's a really good fit. I like that it's cut in at the front, but unfortunately this means that you can't wear a bra with it And obviously it's crochet so it's like a bit see-through in this general area So the best thing to do is to get like a strapless new bra or some of those like stick-on nipple cover thingies Or if you don't care then just fuck it and go for it And the top is £20 Then for the focal piece of the outfit I got this gorgeous pair of bell bottoms They have a blue and white print which I love and they fit me really well I got a size 10 because the size 8 was out of stock and these fit me fine. They could be a bit tighter, but I'm still happy with them and they are £22. And lastly, to finish off the outfit, I got a layer. I got this super soft kind of mohair kind of cardigan. It's quite long, which I really like, and I like how it ties in the blue and the cream together with this outfit. It's so soft, like, so soft and it's only 20 quid so bargain now i'll talk about what i'm wearing this is the unif sid like psychedelic print dress this is my second piece of unif that i own and i'm so happy with it unif is one of my favorite brands like ever i absolutely adore unif so yeah i'm really happy i've got this dress i got this through the clear agency who manages their pr but yeah this dress it's a mini dress and it's a skater style obviously with a high neck it is pretty short like i wore this with skin color tights in public and i wasn't wearing very nice pants so i was quite self-conscious so i've bought some like knicker shorts shorts, uh, cycling short kind of things to wear underneath it or I could also wear like a long cardigan but either way I'm so happy with the dress. The print is so cool and I do believe they have like other swimwear and tops and stuff in this print. It's definitely going to trigger like a huge trend I think in psychedelic prints so I'll be keeping an eye out for more of this stuff because I love it and this dress is £82. Then the other item I got from Unif is this rainbow tie-dye tote bag. Typical kind of Unif print, the logo kind of thing and I'll be using this for like my shopping, everything. I have so many tote bags but they're all like the brownie beigey ones so the rainbow one I absolutely love although I couldn't find a link for this so I apologize for that. I actually went to the clear agency showroom and saw the whole of the unif for spring summer and autumn winter this year and seriously it is killer. I don't want to say what it is because obviously it's kind of all under wraps but the collection is so so rad like I want to get my hands on it for all of the festivals I think it's so cool literally Unif can, can do no wrong I absolutely love their stuff the Clear Agency was so generous and they also gave me a ton of this is a love song stuff which is another brand that I'm so obsessed with I have a couple of pieces from them already the collection is so cool and I love everything from it they got some really cool prints really great shapes there's pictures on my Twitter if you want to go have a look first thing I got is this slip style dress in a tropical print I love all the colors for this it's like all pastel and nice and it's really simple just for going to the beach that sort of thing unfortunately it is a little bit small on me it fits me perfectly apart from because there's buttons on it the button at the top just kind of opens out a bit which is a bit of a pain but I love it nonetheless and that's £67.50 next I got a cute little twin set it's like a sporty kind of tennis cord and the top is like a polo with the this is a love song logo down the side and a stripe and the skirt has the same embroidery detail on the waistband and it's really kind of sporty style I'd love to play tennis in this I just feel like the coolest person ever I'm going on holiday soon so I think it's gonna look so cute on the beach and the top is £35 and the skirt is £38 and they have it in pink and black as well and I also got this awesome holographic clutch bag but unfortunately couldn't find a price for this and the last thing from this is a love song which is by far my favorite piece it is this amazing sequin halter top this says the world is yours on it which was the name of the collection it's just so cool and uh, I've always been a huge fan of all of their sequin pieces I actually have one of their halters with the sun on it which you might have seen before and I'm absolutely obsessed with this piece I love it so much so big thank you to the clear agency for gifting me the stuff I love all of it I'm so happy with everything and that top is 79 pounds also from the clear agency I got some Daisy Night lace dimes. This is jewellery for your shoes and they just clip on where the laces go. I think they're super cute and I got two different types. They are £12 each. I also got some rings from Vitaly. The first set are silver stacking rings. There are three of them and they are slightly different shapes and they are £31. And then the other ring is a rose gold tone. It's got anti-gem cutouts and it's £25. Now a couple of pieces from Uto clothing or Out of the Ordinary. You might have seen me wearing this in my last video. It is this awesome crochet high neck top. It's quite cropped but I just love the fit. I wasn't sure on it at first because obviously it's really bright colours but where there's black on all of the squares it kind of tones it down a bit so that I can wear it with black stuff. I have actually photographed this for an alpha post and I will link that below. I think it's a really cool piece to add some colour to the wardrobe and that is £35 and the other item I got is another pair of bell bottoms. I cannot resist getting all of the bell bottoms at the moment. This pair are green velvet and they tie up with a lace front kind of thing which is a nice detail. Unfortunately they do come up a little big so I'm currently in the process of like maybe arranging an exchange for a smaller size but I just think that they're so cool nonetheless and they are £32 
pounds. Now I have a couple of items from a brand called Stone Fox. Their stuff is really cool, kind of reminds me of like Nasty Girl kind of style, but based in the UK. First thing I got from them is this tennis skirt. I really like how this has got a raw edge. It fits me really well. I have had a tennis skirt before from Machine Side, but it didn't really fit me. So this fits me a lot better and it's so versatile. You can just style it up with anything and that's 24 pounds. Then also from them, I just got a couple of accessories. So I got this leather choker. It's got buckles on the front and O-rings on the side. So I guess you could switch it up if you wanted to. And that is 18 pounds. Then I got this Can You Not heart-shaped necklace, which is £12.50. And lastly from them, I got a pair of fishnet socks. I see them all over like the cool kids' Instagrams and I've always wanted a pair. So yeah, really happy with those and they are £2.50. I forgot to mention in the video, but I also got this adorable palm swimsuit. This is from Patoko and it would be perfect for my holiday and this is £28. Quite a big item now and this is from Very Exclusive. I managed to get it myself a Moschino handbag. It's so cute, I love it so much. It's one of the mini ones, it's only about this big. I love how it fastens with the hearts, so you just squeeze the hearts together and it will open up the bag. Perfect size for going out and it also came with a cute little red and green kind of handkerchief which you could obviously wear like as a scarf. There's loads of ways you can style it up. I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous piece. This is my first kind of like Moschino designer like handbag kind of thing and that is £145. It is quite an accessible price for like a designer label. Moving on to shoes, I have a pair of trainers. thought I'd go for something a little bit different and I got this pair from Gola. They are leopard print but they are grey so it's not too in your face but they do have a pair of like brownie leopard print and I just styled them up with black jeans, white top. But yeah, love these, wore them in Amsterdam, they're great and they are £45. Now from Spy Love Buy I have some cute little T-bar platform shoes. I do have a pair similar to these from Topshop but they're velvet and they're getting a bit knackered now and so I really love these. I love the leather of them. They're actually really comfy, they are true to size, I'm a 7 and they fit me fine and they're the perfect shape to kind of cutesy up an outfit a little bit and they are a bargain at £22.95. Now a pair of boots, these are quite the showstopper. These are from a brand called Moi on Leaf, I hope I said that right, which is a brand from Holland and I'm actually going to download with them this year so I'll be rocking these at download. I'm so excited, they're gonna look so cool. They are black wellies with a cuff around the top and it's got like feathers on it and suede detail, it just looks so cool and they're real feathers, I think they're rooster feathers. I can't wait to style them up, I'm gonna go like 70s, grunge, that sort of thing. They're gonna look so cool and you, they're actually removable so you can take off the cuff and wear them as like a garter or something I guess if you want and underneath they're plain black boots with a couple of buckles on them so they're still quite grungy and they have white laces at the back to tighten them if you wish but they also come with a pair of neon green ones if you want to go a bit more for the party look so yeah I'm so happy with these I can't wait to wear them in the summer I'm gonna wear them to all the festivals probably and they're actually really affordable at $54.99 next up I have a couple of phone cases these are from Touch Zero Gravity and I have had some stuff from them before I'm a huge fan of the cases I just think they're so cool the first case I got is mirrored with all of these different symbols like etched in so you can use it as a mirror but it's slightly more tricky than the full mirror one. Both of the cases have also got a bumper on the front so if you drop your phone the screen would be just off the floor if it's a flat surface obviously. And the other case I got is crazy it's got blue fur all on the back and it really reminds me of, like the cookie monster so I've really been enjoying switching my phone cases around at the moment and they are both £21. Now I have some sunglasses these are from sunglasses shop and they are the Ray-Ban oversized club masters. I love how they fit my face and they are £170 pounds. Moving on to jewellery now, I've got quite a few pieces this month. First up I have some pieces from Regal Rose. I've had a couple of pieces from them before and everything they bring out I absolutely love. First thing I got from them is this third eye chakra choker which is £18. Then I got this snake ring which is also £18. It's more black toned than silver, like a gunmetal kind of colour, but unfortunately it's a little bit big for me which is a shame. Then I got this sun midi ring which is £16. This mother of pearl toxic mermaid ring which is £24 and a faux septum ring which is £22. This was an item that I got really excited about. I've wanted a septum ring for a while just to see what it would look like and I actually kind of like it on me. Let me know what you guys think. I reckon my mum and dad will absolutely hate it on me but you know that's mums and dads for you. Now I have a ring. This is from a New York brand called Alex Streeter and this one is actually designed by his daughter I believe Lily Streeter. It's kind of her take on his designs as he does quite uh, loud rock and roll kind of designs which are really rad like Marilyn Manson has a couple of them which is so cool but she kind of did her take on her father's design which I thought was really nice. Imagine that's such a cool family business like rock and roll kind of ring company. It's so sick. So yeah, I've got the design that she's done. It's called the Pagan Priestess Ring. It's in the style of an eye and it's got a star in the middle. It's really dainty but also makes a statement I feel and I just think it's such a gorgeous ring. I love it so much and I definitely recommend checking out their site and I'm looking forward to more Lily Streeter designs. I also might be running a giveaway with them at some point so make sure you follow the Alex Streeter and my social media and that ring is £62. Then in the same package from them I got another ring. This is from Silverella NYC. I'm actually wearing it now. In the photo that they sent me of the 
pagan priestess ring there was actually this ring as well and I said that I re also really loved that so they really kindly threw it in for me as well and it fits me perfectly I'm so happy with it it's lots of different bones all joined together in a band super simple it'll be great for stacking uh, I love how dainty it is with the kind of grungy obviously it's, it's made of bones so yeah I absolutely love this and that's 37 pounds now a couple of items from Dixie they've recently released a new collection very kindly offered to send me a couple of the items so the first piece I got which I've been wearing a lot recently is this rise of the dawn choker that is 36 pounds and then the other item I got is this oversized moon ring you can wear it on its own but I find it also layers up really nicely with this other ring that I have and that ring is currently sold out so I couldn't see the price but you can be notified when it's back in stock and lastly in the haul I have a couple of items from hearts and gems they have a really great mix of like eclectic uh, boho kind of jewelry so of course I had to get some items from them because I'm so into my 70s looks right now first up I have this gem drop necklace which is 20 pounds then I got this moon necklace which is seven pounds this double labradorite stone ring which is 18 pounds and last of all this chunky Tibetan style bracelet which is £20. Really happy with those pieces and I'll definitely be wearing them for festival season. That is everything in my haul. Uh, I've been talking for a good half an hour now and I'm absolutely knackered. It's like 10 at night. But I really hope you enjoyed this haul. As always let me know which item is your favourite in the comments below as well as any questions that you have. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also let me know how you like my new backdrop. I'm not sure how much I like it. I'm in like a, a different room. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and you would like to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!